Jesus, you know, like whatever you want to believe about Jesus, you know, I'm not here to tell you like I, you're right or wrong. Like, what do I know? You know, is what I say at the end of the day. But what I know, like through the channeling of Jesus and utilizing him as an example is he 100% shows us what's available to us, that we can have full union with source, that, you know, even communing with the energy of Jesus, if you're open to it, um, and if you're fighting it, it may be more in it for you than you realize, because usually what we're fighting is what we need more of <laughs> to embrace. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. This is Ona Christie, a visionary artist and mystic oracle. And I've been enjoying a lot of great feedback about last week's 1212 portal video. And I'm super grateful and excited to share a very special guest with you today. This is Daniel John Hanneman, who's going to take us deeper into that topic and especially into the topic of Christ consciousness and connecting with the Ascended Master, Jesus. So I'll tell you a little bit more about Daniel in just a minute and why he's such a special person, but please first join me in welcoming him to the channel. Welcome, Daniel, and thank you so much for being here today. Uh, Ona, it's just an absolute pleasure. I am always so thrilled to be with you, and I'm grateful to be with your audience today. Oh, and it's so wonderful to be here. And I don't know, the audience probably doesn't know that this channel might not even exist <laughs> if I hadn't worked with you. So um, just a huge thank you for that. Um, all right, so let's launch into your bio, and then we'll get into the meat of this uh, conversation. So um Daniel John Hanneman has an extensive background as a professional counselor and certified hypnotherapist with combined business and professional backgrounds in many different modalities and personal business development systems. And he is a channel for Jesus and supports light leaders to be like Jesus. Daniel has touched many thousands of people's lives through his personal work with individuals, intuitive business coaching, inspirational speaking to groups, and training healers around the globe. From a best-selling book series, Daniel has co-authored the book, Wake Up, Live the Life You Love, Living in Abundance, which featured also the likes of Anthony Robbins, Dr. Wayne Dyer, and Dr. Michael Beckwith. He's the producer and host for the popular spiritual rock star podcast. And I will leave the link to that in the description box below if you want to check that out, as well as other um, ways to reach Daniel. But Daniel, again, thank you for being here. And I feel like, well, let's just jump right in. And I guess I would love to hear a little bit more about your personal relationship with Jesus and how that came about. Yeah, thanks for that question. Yeah, in this lifetime, I grew up Lutheran, going to the church, and, um, I, you know, I, I was the, the kind of kid that, like, didn't even believe in Santa Claus, like, from a pretty young age, like, four years old or something like that, four or five years old, like, okay, he comes through the chimney, you tell me, like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, give me a break. All right, so, like, I, even as a kid, like, I was pretty awake, like, to truth right away, and... Uh, so when I was going to church, like I always loved the spiritual energy and everything. And it's like most people, I, you know, some people maybe not question what's at church, but I would quite, I'd be like, wait a minute, you're going to go to hell? Like God would send you to hell? Give me a break. Like, you know, based on how it's set up in the religion. And, but I always felt this huge energy with the church and talking about Jesus is, is part of that. And that's what I was aware of at that point. And you know, as I, you know, grew older and whatnot, and, you know, did, did all the things I did in my life. Eventually I got to a place where I was I, out of the Lutheran church, like not, you know, saying I was Lutheran anymore. And then I came into science of mind churches and I was attending and had become a practitioner, you know, on boards, you know, and whatnot, helping to spring churches up even a bit. But anyway, I, I got going with, um, this rebirthing workshop they had going on. And within this rebirthing workshop, what happened is I just had this full sense of connection with Jesus. And so that's when it really, really started as far as my, my conscious awareness of connection with sure. Jesus. And that led me to be curious, why is it that I'm feeling this way, which manifested for me, some of that came into my life that does past life regressions of people that walk with Jesus while he was alive. And so I just synchronistically met that person shortly after, 
she did the past life regression and it was revealed through that anyway that i was uh the disciple my middle name is john you could figure it out from there right so um so so anyway so that that's what happened as far as like me becoming aware of it and then during that time i started channeling i started channeling uh, gandhi was somebody i was really drawn to from a young age when that movie came out the first time like i think it's i don't even know how many movies it got it but like a big movie with ben kingsley like i was so taken away by by uh gandhi and then you know so i was channeling gandhi and i was channeling jesus and all these you know whatever all these different ones uh mostly the ones people know and anyway so that's what got me started with it and then um, then I did a couple of different year-long programs in the past with Jesus, Heal with Jesus, Heal Like Jesus. There's still, you know, Heal Like, I believe it's Heal Like Jesus uh, TV here on YouTube. It's I haven't put anything on there in a while so, <laughs> um, because I just um, got involved with other things for a while. Like, you know, it's our path is sometimes. But right. basically that answers your question. Like, that's how I got into it. Right now I am like full-fledged in the you know, Christ consciousness, Jesus mode. Yeah. Um, and, and that's my work in the world uh, on top of doing business coaching. But uh, that's like my my first and foremost thing that I'm doing and doing all the wonderful healing that I can do by being, like I say, like being like Jesus and yeah. in yeah. that regard. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I want to hear in just a bit like more about that being like Jesus, what that means. But first, I'd love to hear your perspective on Christ consciousness and what that actually is. Yeah. Now, Christ consciousness for me means our sense of our oneness with God. And mm -hmm. so I, to me, uh, there's different levels of explanation. Of who was Jesus? What was that all about? Yeah. Um, is it all BS? Is it just a church thing or whatever, just to manipulate, control you and all those, you know, kind of uh, anxieties that we might naturally have when we find out, yeah, you know, actually, if you've gotten to a point where you've investigated enough, you realize you've been lied to a lot. And yeah. therefore, what can we trust from the message? Well, you know, in so many ways, you know, there's so much evidence that this man, Jesus, existed, right? So I think that's pretty undisputed and that there was somebody named Jesus that did things along the lines of what, you know, described in the Bible. And so uh, Christ consciousness, as it was represented through Jesus, is he's like one of those people. And that really represents that sense of full union with the Christ within. Mm -hmm. And so that to me, uh the Christ within meaning again your union with 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 source, with God, and that you're really, really awake, you know, and that mm -hmm. what can happen from there, you know, like they say in the Bible and what Jesus talked about is living heaven on earth and letting all things be added on to you from that place. But yeah. in today's world, unfortunately too often, you know, spiritual people are more into you know, they've gone from like, okay, I, it's all spiritual. Now some are starting to get more. No, now it's about money, you know? And mm -hmm. it's like, and then they're chasing the money. And then it's like, yeah, but, you know, you didn't realize actually it is about heaven on earth and it is about the spiritual. And then it's about manifesting everything from mm -hmm. that Christ consciousness. But that's the part I think that although, you know, some people mentally know about this idea, right? They're not living yeah. So, so that that's to me is what the Christ consciousness is about is getting into that union. You know, the, it's what yoga is about too, in its own way, right? Yeah, Yoking yeah. with the divine and all that. Yeah. So, yeah, that to me that's what it's about, and few people are really utilizing that to to live fully from that place in their life and then manifest yeah. from that place. And I'm not even saying I am at that level completely. But, you know, I've gotten down the road on it at least. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, it's it's uh, we had the privilege and pleasure of working with you, you uh, or having you work on me a few times. And, and uh, um, it, you are really spot on. And uh, it, it's always been very enlightening, uh, you know, hearing that, especially when you're channeling or just doing the energy scan work as well. I know um, you're the one that taught me that technique and it's always been a favorite um, very powerful work. So um, I know you mentioned having been lied to in conjunction with uh, Jesus. And uh, that I think is a, it, it's a real sticking point for some people, right? And it can be difficult for some people to actually connect with this energy, or with the Jesus energy and specifically. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I guess, I'd, I'd love to hear your take on that. And 
also kind of what the difference is between Christ consciousness and, and working with Jesus. Cause mm -hmm. if, from what you said, he's one of the people, but you know, why Jesus specifically, um, what is the power of this individual, right? Mm -hmm. Um, this individual avatar, and then how can a person work with or overcome any kind of aversion to working with Jesus? Right. Now, there is so many ideas that are put out there about Jesus, right? Like, Jesus is your Lord in salvation. We hear those things. We we hear Jesus is just an avatar, right? You're using the word avatar. He's just an avatar. He's just another example, just another Joe, another Jane, or whatever. Like, just another, <laughs> another person walking the earth that happened to be enlightened, and he's no big deal, nothing special. That could be another way of looking at it, right? Um, very ordinary or... You know, like, okay, yeah, okay. We can look at it from so many different angles. We could sp spend the rest of the time talking about it and way beyond. So there, there's no wonder that there's such a confusion and a desire from for truth seekers to just be like, just throw that whole thing out. All right, let's just go straight to source. F all the rest of this stuff. Some people say even F the guides. or <laughs> I threw them all out. I got rid of them years ago. And... I've heard everything, right? Uh, a lot of things, anyway, over the years, you know, decades of do, being in this uh, realm. And, uh, you know, but then we miss the the power. You know, we have people like Eckhart Tolle and other spirit, powerful spiritual teachers. Many of the yogic masters have talked about Jesus and, ex you know, talked about, uh, exalted his name and talked about how he basically, you know, there's a whole story that he went to India and he studied with masters there when he was younger and, there's a lot, it seems to be a lot of pointers to, to that being true. And so, you know, Jesus, you know, like whatever you want to believe about Jesus, you know, I'm not here to tell you like I, you're right or wrong. Like, what do I know? You know, is what I say at the end of the day, but what I know, like through the channeling of Jesus and utilizing him as an example is he 100% shows us what's available to us, that we can have full union with source that, you know, even communing with the energy of Jesus, if you're open to it, um, and if you're fighting it, it may be more in it for you than you realize, because usually what we're fighting is what we need more of <laughs> to yeah. embrace. So, but, you know, getting in the energy of Jesus that um, comes to us, that we feel, many of us, that feel inside of ourselves, if we get beyond concepts, is a guiding light for us. And I truly believe, for me at least, and I believe it's true for others, that there's an extra imprint in your sacred heart of Jesus, you know, as an avatar. Yeah, you could find all the rest, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, whatever, like, oh, it's all very imprinted, whatever. You can go through the St. Germain, so many. I get it. You know, it may be very strong in your heart. I got it. Um, what I'm saying is, like, for many of us, we feel maybe just a bit of a stronger beckon and call of love of the sacred heart through Jesus. And that's something to pay attention to because I feel like that's what we're being called into our spiritual center is into that sacred heart. Because yeah. when your sacred heart is a flame, like that is foundational to living heaven on earth. And Jesus is, uh, you know, is a guide for that a transmission of that energy. When I, you know, for me in my example, like I, when I'm channeling that energy, when you're connecting with that energy, and again, we can use the teachings that we have. Yes, the imperfect Bible, but there's so many gems in there. There's so much yeah. good stuff in there. Yes. We can use that as a guide to um, the way of being that we're all looking for. We're all saying we want peace and love and heaven on earth, basically, right? That's what he talked yeah. about. Yeah. yeah, We all know we're infinitely psychic and tuned in and all that. That's what he talked about, right? Right. You know, yeah. it's all there. And so... Um, so anyway, uh, that so I'm just saying he's a, a great example and a great guide at a minimum for people. And the rest I'll leave to each every person's you know belief system because who knows? Yeah, yeah. How do you feel like your life has transformed because of working with Jesus or, or bringing Jesus mm. in? That's a great question. Hmm. I've, I haven't been asked that question. That was the first time. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, no, good. So I get to contemplate that. I think, again, it's like what I'm saying with the uh, the sacred heart. I mean, I think be before I really started going more and more deeper with with Jesus, I, I believe, although I've always, you know, been connected to my heart at some level and all that, like, um, I was more prone to probably thinking I'm not worth much or something like that or whatever. I'm too odd. I'm too different. You know, I'm 
um, I don't belong, um, cards coming up around my heart, me not acting as who I really am yeah. on many levels, including as a spiritual leader and being and healer and all that stuff. But as I've deepened in Jesus's energy, it's more like you're, I'm in a true abundance, prosperity consciousness, because prosperity consciousness is not 100 has absolutely nothing to do with outer manifestation ultimately like even at all really i mean it has everything to do with your state of consciousness right and again these are not brand new concepts but i think we've got lost because there's so many people showing because so many people want the thing that we've got absolutely obsessed with the thing to where that's what everybody's talking about is focused on and yet people are not happy still they're still not having the millions of dollars they want or whatever they want Right. Yeah. But if you if you seek first, you know, the kingdom within is the kingdom, if you like that better, whatever yeah. it is, if you seek that in, within first, you'll have everything you will. You won't. And, and, and then you can be added on to you, whatever you want. And that's that's what it's brought me into. You know, I have lost my way at times on this path, for sure, even while yeah. connecting with Jesus's energy. But when I devote myself to my sacred heart. And to the energy of Jesus, I'm I'm totally awake to that truth. And then yeah. when things come up, I'm like, why didn't that go that way or this way? It's <laughs> like it's like it doesn't matter. It's like yeah, you know, wholeness, love, abundance is 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 here still, no matter what. It can't yeah. be disturbed. And so yeah. that that I would say is the main transformation. That sense of inner peace, right? The, yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. It's called yeah. the Prince of Peace, right? Yeah. yeah. That's um, that's amazing. And I know that you do work like you were talking about manifesting and, and the wealth and so forth. And you do work a lot with business people. Mm -hmm. um, and how how do you how does like working with Jesus and, and reconciling the idea of material wealth with the, your spiritual kingdom? Right. Um, how have you found that that is that difficult for a lot of people? I mean, is that a, a big sticking point i love your insights on on that aspect of life yeah i, guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean uh catherine uh what is her name again i got the book right here sorry guys the expert isn't supposed to be grabbing books but this book right here Kat, yeah i had it right catherine ponder oh, right just, okay. millionaire from nazareth yeah so his prosperity secrets for you all right he, you know, he taught all kinds of prosperity principles, and that can include money. I mean, there's nothing, you know, I think some people say, uh, I, I like the, the saying, uh, you know, give to God what's meant to for God or whatever, and give to Caesar what's given to, you know, give to Caesar what's owed to Caesar. But like what he's really saying is like probably completely different than the way people take it. It's like, it's like, yeah, we have a material world. Yes, we're going to play with the material world. It's fine. But, you know, what's, what's, and it's important, you know, on this path, and it is even spiritual. You know, I, yeah. I think, you know, so that's what we, 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 we demonize money because of the way it can control and manipulate people. Well, if you, you know, you know, this is the way it is. And then we got interest rates and then we got inflation. That will throw this at you. I'll throw that at you. That'll keep you in our game. Yeah. And everybody's just like, no, screw it. We just, everybody just have what they want. I've thought this before. I've gone to utopian vision. We all yeah. just actually love each other, give to each other, no currencies, no bartering. We just give. And what well, has been shown through experiments when people live that way, it doesn't work. People, you know, will like when they've done it with like land, for example, like people did live this way. And sometimes it, it may have worked at times, but like there are times when it doesn't work, like we're, you know, people are not really like living their best life because right. there's no juice. There's no like, I'm doing my thing and, and I'm feeling so good about it. Yeah, I'm making all this money and it's great. And I get to be a steward of this energy of money and, and my land or whatever, you know, whatever the different, my assets or whatever. And it's your steward of it. It's not a possession, of course, but right. it's, yeah. you get to be a steward of that energy. And when we're a steward of an energy, we're carrying the Christ consciousness with it and through it and amplifying it. So right. if you deny the material, you're actually cutting off, you know, your energy field. It's all interconnected. It's all one, right? We all understand yeah. that principle. And so if you start cutting it off, then you're in trouble. But you're like, yeah, but money's evil. And why would we get, <laughs> okay, now you're saying it's not one way God, all right? 
Like hate is actually the inverse of love, right? But it's a portal into love. So it's still love. It's just like upside down. That's all. We don't run from hate though. We want to dive into the energy of hate and we'll discover the deeper love that's within it, right? So it's similar with money. Like even if you perceive it as being this horrible thing at one level, and then you use that as a portal to expand into the energy of greater vibrancy, greater right. love. It's all contracted energy is that. And that's all that the money is. And so we yeah. can talk all about the three bankers or whatever. Honestly, let's bless them like crazy. They're playing their perfect role. They're in their perfect scene. They're helping us perfectly. And when we see it that way, we're in the Christ consciousness and we can really prosper financially and otherwise. Right. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that, that really confirms what I've been shown is that is that you know that that beautiful utopia is there for us at some point and and uh we will get there through working through and being good stewards of what yeah. we have here yeah. and, and, and living on this 3d world so sure. beautiful um I, I would love to invite you if you if you would like to do a little channeling here um okay. and, and tap into jesus and and see what he has to tell to my audience and um i i, I just yeah i'd love to invite you yeah. to do that Oh, yeah. Awesome. I'm looking forward to doing that. So let's do that briefly. And then, yeah, and then we look forward to, you know, mentioning, too, that we have something coming up uh, for you uh, sh shortly in a few days or so, I think, when this airs. Uh, yeah, really we'll talk about it. that in a little bit here. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just getting people excited. We got more for you where this is going to come from. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just let you know. All right. So let's take a, a, a short little while here just to get a message. I'm going to do a quick vocal toning, and then I'll be uh, channeling that energy of Jesus uh, from there. Uh... Joy to the world. God's grace lives in your heart. The power of all creation to flow through your heart. Let the nature and the wonders of your being unfold from your deepest divine nature, which is infinitely creative and abundant. Experience the wonders of the love and the rapture and that of that love within the sacred heart. Know you're wrapped in this love. You are being called to share this transmission of the sacred heart with the world in your special and unique and creative way. Your unique way is deeply desired to awaken and to receive opportunities for abundance to flow, not only for yourself, but for all. This golden age of prosperity is a reality that's got its root in these times. For us all begin to journey back home to the sacred heart and beyond. Earth's playground of love, light, laughter, prosperity, well-being comes normalized. And the exaltation of the Christ within is heard by all. And though all are called, few will answer now. Will you be one that will answer that call now to come back home and in your unique way bring those that you're called to bring back home into the sacred heart and beyond, will you say yes to this beckoning call of love? 
for all your brothers and sisters and all beings on the planet are here as gateways, portals to more divine race, love, blessings, and gifts. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> wow. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. There's a couple things in there that really jumped out at me, resonated with me. Um, one was the, the roots, right. Of wow. um, the, 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 you know, the, the golden age being right now. Yeah. Um, and that, that was like, wow. <laughs> and then the other thing that gave me chilled was, chills was like uh, each being, being a portal to that. Um, yes, oh, just yes. amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it was amazing. You know, it's amazing each time for me too, because I'm like, yeah. you know, because our mind, my mind is still active. It still has concerns, worries, you know, it, it, it's there, right? And it, it can overtake me momentarily at times too, still to this yeah. day. And I can, I can, I can perceive, you know, like, like some of the things coming ahead and it's, it's heavy and it's, it's wild and yeah. it feels dark. Right. Yeah. And yet to know that there is more light, you know, coming into the planet ultimately yeah. as a result is really, really reassuring. Right. Like it's yes. really, really helpful to hear that for me. Like just to even hear that myself today was really awesome too. Oh, definitely. I feel you on that. And I think, you know, most of us can feel what's coming and it's like, whoa, <laughs> but um, that message and just that energy of, oh, you know, it's all right. It's, it's, we're holding this here. Um, and we've each got it within us. Beautiful. Could you speak for a moment? Like, well, I, I know we've got this event coming up that I am super excited about. And uh, we're going to be, um, I'll just spill the beans right now. Um, Daniel and I are going to be hosting, or I'll be kind of hosting an event for you, Daniel, um, to bring this Jesus energy more into uh, just uh, here for, for anybody who wants to um, join us. And it'll be on the 1212 portal, December 12th. And I'd, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Looking forward to this as well as the Y 1212, the significance of that. Oh, my goodness. I mean, well, how awesome is that, guys? The 1212. And, um, you know, I have I'm not a person that, you know, just looks things up all the time so like i couldn't give you from the from the book like mm -hmm. ona had some of that information mm -hmm. but like i just know like the 12 for me the 12 12 portal right now it just feels like it's a gateway to some uh, definitely like most of these portals are like this but like there's a gateway to certain completions and like it's opening up like you know it's a huge opening and opportunity for um you know, more, more open, I just more opening. I don't know how else to put it, like yeah. more opening and therefore more opportunities, you know, more opportunities to wake up, more opportunities to receive, more opportunities to, to love and share in a way that's natural and abundant and, and, and rigorous and, and amazing. And, you know, I think often we're, you know, because we've been kind of put in that enslaved condition mind, like, oh my God, you know, to, 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 to give more, it feels exhausting, but this is a place of, of inspiration where you, you can't even almost give enough, you know, cause it's just right. from the overflow. And, and so it's a huge opportunity to start receiving and getting the attunements, you know, it's a like really golden, one of those golden portals of many, but like, it is a specific one right now, right? Beyond words that it's just, you know, there to help you to, um, open to more for the and then we and then we got the new year coming so it's really beautiful that way but i'll let Ona, I, I believe ona will know better like on the textbook wherever she's looked up of what's going on on that date but um yeah so i'd love for you to share something about that yeah yeah well 12 12 uh, 12 is this number of it's a very very sacred number and um it, it has a big correlation with like the cosmos right with the zodiac and and uh, also jesus himself had 12 disciples so this number right. comes that, that's what everywhere. i was thinking all along i'm like 12 disciples guys <laughs> exactly right and and it it really as i explained in my previous video it it, it 
it really attunes to Christ consciousness um, because it's this kind of completion. And then there's an element of like death and sacrifice and, and moving on, right. And moving onto another plane. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, <laughs> I'm just going to refer people to my previous video, um, but I feel so excited to join you here on the 12th and, and to actually work with these energies of the 1212 because like you said these portal dates are so powerful and so powerful to to do um you know to, to gather together on these dates to bring souls together it's hugely powerful and also to do any kind of ritual or or chanting or moving of the energies because like you said it is a portal for opening so that we can receive like these incredible energies in in a much more powerful way and i feel like it also assists the energy of the planet herself to heal and to ascend it's really a big boost for mother earth and for humanity right when we come together as a wake souls and, and, and to really honor these energies and work with them um so like i said i'm super excited uh for the 1212 and it will be a free event it'll be a live event on zoom so you can attend from anywhere in the world um i'm going to post the um the, the link to sign up below and you all you have to do is just sign up and show up if you can't show up there will be a recording um we can record that and and you look at the replay but i really encourage people to attend in person and because uh, Daniel, like I said, the energy scanning um, is amazingly powerful. And even if it's, you know, of course, when you're energy scanning, you know, when you have that experience of you scanning, it's amazing. And I know you're going to do at least a couple, I think. Yes, um, yes. And with Jesus, too, maybe for a couple. Yeah. Of and sure. channeling Jesus, yeah. absolutely. We'll have more of that, please. Yes. Um, but even, even if you're not the one being scanned, every yes. time I've attended, you know, witnessed you scanning somebody, I have gotten healing out of it. So it's it's a not to be missed kind of experience. Um, I'm super excited and it just feels like, yeah, it's going to be a big spiritual party. <laughs> um, It'll be even uh, more happening than we realize, you know, yeah, even exactly. now. And, yeah. and that, but I also, I just feel like that, yes, yeah, like, if there's things that you feel need to come to completion and something that wants to open for yeah. like for example your light leadership in the world which yes I'll through yeah. for many of you then that's a great you know way to right. you know set intention and set it up for that day that's a great time to do it it is a great time to do it and i personally feel 2024 is going to be a huge shift and it's going to be can i feel like it can be so much beauty coming through in this coming year even though it, we all know it's going to be it, interesting but yeah. but there's so much potential for beauty and bringing mm -hmm. more harmony and love and light into the world and mm -hmm. and i feel like there's so many people watching here today that i have that capacity to hold more light and i feel like you know the the more support we can do and connecting with each other is going to give us all a, a major boost and anchoring to be able to anchor that light so um anyway that will be on december 12th and um you just hit that link below and you can sign up for that and uh any last last thoughts uh from you daniel about jesus or about christ consciousness or anything that you'd like to share sure i um <clears throat> yeah you're just i just want to get back to the event for a second and then yeah. uh, kind of wrap it up it's just sure. um we're going to continue to talk about these things this is an opportunity to really interact with with me and ona and to uh receive you know to receive more wisdom more more of the teaching and more channeling more and more, even more you know things energy scanning uh there'll be attunement healing you know things going on in the process who knows what will unfold because me and ona plan things but then there's the organic flow of what's unfolding so you definitely don't want to miss it for sure I'm, i know it's going to be amazing and um yeah just 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 I would just say, just trust yourself. Just, you know, there is this sense of submitting yourself in a way, like you got to submit yourself to, you know, the the higher aspect of yourself is my point. Yeah. Higher aspect of yourself and the, and, and the lower self, so to speak, you know, just to give it a label, you know, will resist it. And so, so yeah. I just encourage you to know I'm, go, I'm, I'm going to 
that next level of uh, actualization and just saying yes to that. That's that's my final word. Just say oh, yes. Yeah. Beautiful, right? I love that you brought that forward because it's like every time we're invited to move forward or to ascend or move upwards, there's always that resistance and it's part mm -hmm. of the journey. So, um, mm -hmm. so yeah, I mean, if you're yeah. feeling that resistance, great, feel into it and <laughs> lean into that and uh, see if uh, maybe that's something that, you know, you might want to consider, even if you feel resistant to it, that might be an extra little <laughs> incentive to actually show up. So, yeah, sure. and and when you're not just this event, but anything that yes. you feel like yes. that, you know, that yes. resistance that you know it might be something really amazing, and you feel that oh no, <laughs> right? That's that's yeah. a a big invitation, I think. I get so, very interested when you when part of you wants to just close it all off for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so very much again, Daniel. It's been a pleasure as always uh, speaking with you. And where can people reach you? Whoops. <laughs> Cat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if people want to reach out to me, you can go to yoursacredpurpose.com and check out what's there. I've got a meditate, make money meditation. So yes, money is included and get get your money downloads, you know, through the money, make money, uh, Money and meditation. I can't even talk anymore. Sometimes that happens right after channeling. <laughs> yeah, after channeling <laughs> for sure. Make money meditation. So check that out at yoursacredpurpose.com. You can also, you know, get uh, energy scanning from me there. You'll there's a rock your sacred purpose energy scan uh, opportunity there, and who knows what else I might have up on the site. Never know when I might put something new up down there. But uh, you can check me out and follow up with me and get all, you know, updated on me uh, by going there and check out my podcast as well on the Thanks. blog. You know, the, I've got incredible guests like Neil Donald Walsh. I'm going to interview tomorrow. Uh, had lots of, you know, big names on my show. Uh, so well, don't, don't want to miss that either. Perfect. So that's yoursacredpurpose.com, correct? Correct. 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 Beautiful. All right. Well, once more, thank you so much. Uh, namaste. And to all of you out there, remember, remember you were born to be free. <laughs>